Hello everyone outside there that is watching us on BTN TV. Again here it is Teacher Fred presenting a mathematics lesson. For those who have been following us, find they are already aware of what we have been doing. But for those who joined us today, still we welcome you to always be following this program for your own benefit, more so our learners outside there. Today I want us to look at division of whole numbers. as today's lesson so when we talk about division of numbers the word division has got other different words that mean the same so when us look at this you'll find out that when we come to this word division is always being represented by this operation sign and this operation sign has got very many words down here that mean the same, or they mean that very sign. We shall have the word here, the first one as share. Share is the word that represents divide. So sometimes we have words like share, we have words like uh, divide, Okay, we are sharing, they are dividing, yeah? as sometimes we have, we have also words, they, if they don't use share, they can use divide, they can also say quotient, there is what we call quotient, we also have quotient, we also have quotient, so once you see those words there, then you have to think of division but in this case let's look at example one and we see what they have demanded us to do when you look at example one they have said share 19 million two hundred eighty thousand eighty six thousand four hundred eighty nine by two so we want to see how can we share that there are so many different ways of sharing, but in this case, I want us to use what we call long division by two using using long division. I want us to use long division method to work out that using long division method to work out that. So I want us to work out this number. We want to divide everything by 2, but following which method it is long division. So if they wanted long division, we shall have to draw our long division sign here. Then we have to look for the number that is going to divide the number. We write it there. Then we shall have our 19 million, 286,000. We have 489. So I want us to look at this. This number here. But before we look at the number that will give us a small point or a remainder, let's first change this first of all to the number that will not give us any remainder or the small point. Then from there, we shall continue from there and I'll show you what next from there after this first example. So when you look at that, we have 19 million 286,484. They want that number to be divided by 2. So we are going to start by dividing the highest digit here, or the digit that lies under the highest place value. So I'll start with this one. And when I start with this one, I'll say 1 divided by 2. That will be the first step. It will be 1 divided by 2. 
The first step here, I'll have 1 divided by 2. You look at this, when you have one duster, and this very one duster, give it to two people. In common sense, you realize that it will not be possible unless if you divide it into a fraction or a decimal number, and of which they have not requested for a decimal number right now because we still have more digits. So what do we do? We shall say, when we divide this, 1 divided by 2, everyone will have 0. We end up by not giving them. For you are here, I'm also here. We have one duster, somebody wants to give us one duster. But we are two, somebody wants, you also need it, I also need it. You are not supposed to divide it, you are not supposed to cut it into two pieces. When you give, you give the whole duster. So if we are two people, but it is only one duster that you want to give out, what will you do? You rather leave everyone, you don't give anyone, then the duster remains there. Because if you give one person, you lack what to give the other. So we shall not have any person taking a duster. So we shall say, everyone will take zero, zero. These two people will take zero, zero. Then from there, we shall say, let's find out the number of dusters they have carried. We say, zero times two. Zero times two, it will give us zero. Then from there, I'll have to unline the first step. Then I'll say, one take away zero. We are now going to subtract. One take away zero, it will have to give us one. Then from there, after getting one, we shall have to bring nine from up down here. Any number you bring from up, any digit you bring from up, and you bring it down here, you must divide it before you go to any other step. So after bringing this here, we, say, we have now seen that we have 19. So we shall get this 19, we divide by 2. Shall say 19 divided by 2. We had one, when we brought nine from here, we, made, well, we came out with 19. So if we have 19, we are having this 19, we divide by two people. You have 19 mangoes, and you are required to share the 18 mangoes among the two people. You realize that 19 being an odd number, you'll have a remainder. So let's see, if you have eight, uh, 19 and you give out to two, two people, how many will each person come out with? Every person will eat nine. Every person will eat nine. Then after that we shall say, this nine times this two, times two. We want to find out how many mangoes have these people taken. So, 9 times 2, it will give us 18. After giving us 18, we shall have to subtract from the first number of mangoes. So, I'll say, take away. 9 take away 8, we shall remain with 1. 1 take away 1, 0. What else? We have to bring another digit from up, down. And as long as you bring a digit from up here to down here, what will happen is, should be divided. So, when you bring this digit, you realize that we are now having 12 divided by 2. We are now having 12 divided by 2. So, if I have 12 divided by 2, every person would eat 6, or we'll take 6. Then from there, I'll say 6 times 2. 6 times 2. This will give us 12. After having our 12, we shall have to subtract. When we subtract, we realize that 2 take away 2, we shall have 0. 1 take away 1, we shall have 0. 
what will be the next step? We have to bring down another digit. And that is 8. Once you bring it down, you have to divide everything that is down. So what do we have here? We have 8. So I'll say 8 divided by 2. 8 divided by 2. What do you come out with? If you have 8 and you give out to 2 people, you have 8 pens, you give out to 2 people. You have 8 angles, you give out to 2 people. You have 10 cores. Let's assume you are the parent and in your compound you have bought 10 cores. Then you feel like uh, you have bought 8 cores and you have 2 sons. Then you feel like giving them. Then at the end of it all, you'll have to share all the 8 to them. How many will each person take? Or each child take? Every child will have to take 4. So if every person is taking four from there, we shall say four, this is four, times this two. Four times two, which will give us eight. Then from there, we shall need to subtract. Eight to take away eight, it will give us zero. Then from there, we shall have to continue. We bring down another number, that is six. When we come with the 6 down, we are supposed to divide it. So we shall say 6 divided by 2. 6 divided by 2, which will give us 3. You have 6 mangoes, you give to 2 people. Every person will take 3. So if every person will take 3, what does it mean? We shall have to write our 3 here, where 6 is. So I say 3 times 2. That will be the next step. 3 times 2. 2. That will give us 6. 3 times 2. That will give us 6. Then we subtract. 6 take away 6. It will give us 0. Then from there, what will be the next step? You who is watching us. You who is watching, following the teaching. You who is following the program. What will be the next step from there? You have seen the first step. We had to divide this with this. The second step, we brought this down. The third step, we brought this down. The fourth step, we had to bring this down. The next step, we had to bring six down. And whenever you bring any digit down, you have to divide it. So if you have to divide it, let's look at this. We have already finished to divide the 6 and we have already subtracted. Now what will be the next step from there? The next step we shall have to bring another digit. That will be 4. So we shall have to bring 4 here. When you bring 4 here, what is the next step? Immediately you bring any number here, you have to divide it. So we shall say 4 divided by 2. That will give us 2. So I will have to write here 2. Then I would say 2 times 2. 2 times 2. Which will give us 4. Then after getting 4, we have to subtract. We shall have to subtract. 4 take away 4, it will give us 0. Then from there, what will be the next step? Bringing down 8. So I'll bring down 8. What did I say? Immediately you bring any digit from up, you must divide it before bringing any other. So I'll say, here I'll have 8 divided by 2, which will give us 4. Then we say 4 times 2. I'll say 4 times 2. This will give us 8. Then I'll have to subtract this. 8 take away 8, it will give us 0. Lastly, what is the next step? You who is watching us outside there, what is the next step? What do you think is missing? The next step we shall have to bring the remaining digit as 4 down here. Then after bringing it down, Remember I said, whatever, whenever you bring any dict from up, you must divide it. So we are going to have our 4 divided by 2. Our 4 divided by 2. 
We have got this 4 here, so we are saying 4 divided by 2. Everything that is here is supposed to be divided by this. That's why you are seeing me. I go to the first one, 4 divided by this. Then the second one here, when we brought this 19, we divided by this. And this 2, this 2 we are dividing by here. It is this 2 here. So it is everything here divided by this 2. That's why you are seeing 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. Okay? Then the 2 you are seeing this side, it is again this 2. After getting the answer up, multiply by this, you write it. Okay? Then from there we shall say 4 divided by 2, it will give us 2. So after having 2 there, I will say 2 times 2 it will give me 4. I will say 2 times 2, this will give us 4. Then from there, we are required to subtract. So I'll say 4 divided by 4 minus 4, it will give us 0. Then lastly, I'll come to the last step and say, according to what we have seen and according to what we have followed from where we started from, we shall say, we shall say, there are 4, 19 million 286,484 divided by 2 gives us will give us 9643242 1,2,3 so when you get uh, when you come out with 19 millions 286,000 284 divided by two people you will come out with what you have seen we shall come out with every person will take 9 million 640 43,242. That is the share that every person will take if you divide all the money that one person was having at the moment. So each will take 9,643,242 after sharing the, that amount. We don't know whether it was 19 plus million of money or stones or kilograms of something. We don't know because they didn't give us the units. So we have, what we have to put in mind is whenever you are given any digit here, what you do, you'll have to f divide it or any digit that you bring from up, then you bring it down. You must divide it before you bring another one. Whether it is smaller than the number you are dividing with, still you will have to divide it before you do anything else. So without wasting a lot of time, for those who have been following us, let's go to the second example and we look at it just similarly to the first example there is nothing big there is nothing like there is a big difference between the first example and the example that is going to follow the only difference is that we need just to put uh, the only difference is that the first one had only one digit then the second one has more than one digit okay so I want us to continue with the second example just like I've just said it that a uh, the, the difference between the first example and the second example is just simple. The first example had one digit. Here, the second example, we are going to divide by two digits. Okay? So, when you look at the example, they say they divide 7,848,483. So, we want to look at that. How can we divide that by 15? Uh, remember, we are using we are using long, uh, long division. I can even as well say using long 
division using long division so we want to use long division and we divide this so the first thing we shall need to do I'll have to draw my long division sign and put the little words the way they are supposed to be so when I look at this here we have got 15 then here we have 7 8 4 8 4 8 3 of 7 8 4 8 4 8 3 huh? 7 8 4 8 4 8 3 so I want us to look at the number how can we divide it by 15 does it give us a remainder does it is it exactly divisible by 15? We don't know because we have not yet worked it out. So what we shall need to do, we shall have to work it out. Remember every digit in this, under this, under this division sign, everything under this division sign is supposed to be divided by 15 individually, one by one. So we are going to start with the first one. The first one is 7. We have 7 divided by 15. So when you look at 7 divided by 15, 15 is bigger than 7. So you can't divide it. You will say everyone will have to eat 0 or will take 0. So if everyone takes 0, then we shall come here and say 0 times 15. Shall say 0 times 15, which will give us zero then from there i'll have to underline this then we subtract seven take away zero we shall have seven then from there we shall have to bring eight down to make 78 then after making 78 we are now having here 78 divided by 15 we are getting 78 divided by 15. Ask yourself where you are, that how many groups of 15 can go into 78? Just come aside here and say, we have 15, the first group, 15, the second group, 15, the third, 15, the fourth, then let's first add this. Uh, 5 plus 5, 10, 15, 20. 20, we shall write 0, we regroup 2. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is 60. 60, we have not yet reached 78. So let's add more 15. 15. Here, 5. Here, 7. We have not reached 78. But when you add 15 here, it will go beyond 75. So let's see how many groups of 15 are in me. this. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we shall say they are 5 groups. So if there are 5 groups, I will have to write here 5. If there are five groups, I'll have to write there five. Then I'll say five times 15. Five times 15, it will give us 75. So we shall say it will give us 75. If it gives us 75, then we shall have to, we shall say five times 15. It will give us 75. Then we subtract. 8 take away 5, it will give us 3. 7 take away 7, 0. So from there, we shall have to bring down 4 to make 34. So when you have 34, 34 divided by 15, simply they mean how many groups of 15 can be obtained from 34. That's what they are trying to mean. So for us to identify that, we shall first say 15 plus 15. What do we get here? Here it will be 0. 
one, here it will be three. So that's 30 already. Two groups gives us 30. And when we add 15 on 30, it goes beyond this. So we shall say there are two groups which goes in 34. Then after that, we shall say the two groups we have identified, we multiply by 15, which will give us 30. Then we subtract. From where, we shall have to subtract. We shall say 4 take away 0, 2 give us 4. Then 3 take away 3, 0. From there, we shall have to roll down or bring down 8. After bringing 8, we shall also ask ourselves how many groups of 15 can go into 48. So I'll come and continue from here to identify 48. I'll say 2 groups gives us 30. Let's add another group. Another group will be 5, 4. Will give us 45. So, and the 45 is closer to 48. So, I'll say they are 1, 2, 3. So, they are 3 groups. Then from there, I'll say 3 groups times 15 will give us 45. The three groups are here. One group, the second, the third. They have given us 45. So I will say 45 is there. Then we subtract. We shall say 8, take away 5, it will give us 3. 4, take away 4, it will give us nothing. Then from there, we shall again have to go and bring down 4. When we bring down 4 here, we shall come out with 34. Then from there, ask yourself again that how many groups of 30, uh, of 15 are in 34? We said there are two groups basing on 15 plus 15 gives us 30. And the 30 is near 34. So two groups gives us 30. So we shall say there are only two groups in 34. Then we say... 2 times 15, which will give us 30. After raising 30, we shall have to subtract. We shall say 4, take away 0, which will give us 4. Which will give us 4. Then from there, we shall say 6, take, I mean 3, take away 3, it will give us 0. So we have remained there with the 4. The next step we shall have to bring 8 down to make 48. So we have now come out with 48. Ask yourself where you are that how many groups of 15 can be obtained from 48? How many groups of 15 can be obtained from 48? According to what we saw here, we realize that there are three groups which can be obtained from 48. Because 15 plus 15 will give us 30. Those are two groups plus 15. Those are three groups. There will be three groups. Then after finding three groups, we shall say three groups. What we have identified as three groups times 15, which will give us 45. After identifying 45, we shall have to subtract. Then we say 8, take away 5, it will give us 3. Then from there we shall say 4, take away 4, it will give us 0. Then from there, we shall have to go and bring down 3. When we bring down 3, we shall make 33. After making 33, we shall say 33 divided by 15. How many groups of 15 are in 33? Previously, when we looked at this, we said 3, I mean we said 15 plus 15 will give us 30. And 30 is approximately or closely to 33. So we shall say they are two groups. So from there, we shall also say two groups times 15, which will give us 
30. After identifying 30, what else? What else? We have to subtract. That will be the next step. We shall have to subtract. 3 take away 0, it will give us 3. Then 3 take away 3, it will give us that. So from there, after identifying this, we have remained with 3. We are going to introduce a decimal point here. When you introduce a decimal point here, it allows you to add 0 on the digit you are remaining with. So I will introduce my decimal point here. If I don't introduce the decimal point there, I'll consider this as a remainder. Or else, I'll consider this as a numerator. We have many ways when you reach here. I can say, from there I can say, my answer will be 5, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 5, 2. 3, 2, 3, 2. Remainder. Then this becomes the remainder. Remainder 3. If I don't write it like that, I can also say, or oh, I say I have 5, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, whole number. Then I come to this. I take it as a numerator. I say 3 out of 15. This 15 is what I'm using here. If I don't give this answer like this, I can also say, or oh, I come here and I put here a decimal point, I introduce a zero here. Then I say, how many groups of 15 are in 30? They are two. So I come here and say two. If I say zero point, I mean a point two, then I say two times 15, which will give us 30. When we subtract zero, zero. So here this number has got three alternatives. I can also write it as five, two, three, two, three, two, point two. All these answers are correct. You can write and give a remainder, but if they say, give your answer as a mixed fraction, this is the correct answer. Give your answer as a mixed fraction, it will be that one. If they say, give your answer in, uh, in a decimal, give your answer in a decimal, it will be this. This one is a decimal, but when they just leave a question open, you can give them a remainder. It is also correct. So any of this can work better for you. Please, when you're using long division, go slowly. Don't rush. If you want to understand it and master it, simply keep trying. There is no way you will understand a concept in mathematics if you don't like practicing. We understand mathematics out of the practice. Whoever knows mathematics does a lot of practice in mathematics. So if you want to do it better than the way you are doing it today, simply keep on practicing. Don't ignore anything that, ah, this one I know, this one is simple. No. As long as you come across it, practice it. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. So keep practicing until you become perfect. So after that, I don't know if there is anyone who may have a question related to this. In case you have a, lesson, a question related to this, simple, just forward it. I will reach you and help you immediately the way you want to be helped as long as your concern 
is in the same line with today's lesson. No problem. Just find me and send your question or send your concern on this WhatsApp. Then I'll get back to you. At end time, forward. You wait for your reply. Don't call. Don't call. So let's, let's, let's also look at this. For those who have been following us, you have seen the way how we have moved from example one to the second example. So I want us to have a trial number. I want to give you some trial numbers. You will finish them. And the time you will go back to school, definitely you will have to submit everything to your mathematics teachers. They will help you mark it. You need just to be following every time. Meanwhile, beauty and stuff is trying to set up a system that can enable us mark these exercises that I do give every day. So as you keep watching, within a short period of time, we might have come out with a system that will help you to mark your work. Whatever you do, you just submit and your work will be marked immediately. You'll be given corrections and you'll have a person to attend to you in case you are not understanding what is done. Right? So let's look at the activity. I want us to look at the exercise. I want us to look at the exercise. Then after there, we continue just like that. So you can just be continuing writing your exercise as I write as you write. Can continue, create enough time such that you may do all these numbers. Do all these numbers. Yes, this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A seven, the eighth one is this side. So you'll take your time and write everything. As you're writing everything, be answering. First of all, be copying the questions. Because remember, we are switching off to another program. So you'll be required to copy all the questions. Aside after copying the questions, then you'll have your time and you do them throughout the day. So I have number one up to number 10. I hope at this time around you will be almost summarizing with it. Because remember time is up. Time is up. We need to go to something else. Please try to hurry up. In copying, as you put in mind that the precautions of the government, they are still working, and we still emphasize 
that we should follow them before we may overcome the situation which is so alarming. When you look at the, our neighboring countries, things are still tough. The ones the neighbor is not in good conditions, we are not also settled. We need just to keep praying for each other. We keep hygiene, not just keeping hygiene, but keeping proper personal hygiene. Whenever you access water, be washing your hands. Please, please avoid touching your nose, the mouth, the ears, and so on. Reckless movements should be prohibited. We have to make movements which are really genuine. If you have nothing to make you move, please stay at home. But if you have something genuine, as you move, put in consideration that the masks should be with us. A face mask should be with us just like it has been instructed. And use them properly. Don't just have them and carry them. Some of you, when you have them, you just move around carrying them instead of raising them up. Carrying them has no value. You have to be with them, wear them, use them properly, just as it is supposed to be done. As we wind up, I hope everyone now must be on the last numbers. You must be around number 10, summarizing. As we are summarizing, put this in consideration that the initiative came from BTN staff, that is to provide the service to children who are at home at the moment, or pupils or learners, to access the service, more so candidate class. Always keep following as we recognize the staff of Wisdom Center at the same time for what it has also played in this period in touch with BTN staff to see that children or our pupils don't miss everything throughout. We recognize you, the principal, Wisdom Center, the principal or executive director of BTN TV, the staff that also manage to sacrifice their time put themselves at risk of working to make sure that our children get something outside there. We really appreciate you so much. May God keep you safe. Long live. Thank you so much.